Hi there. Yes, I am crazy for having soup on a hot day. But I just, well, I like soup. <laughs> and it does remind me of Bristol. At Bristol, we would have um, the hot soups. It was kind of all you could really eat when you were squeezed into a corset anyway. So, I'm just, who knows? I, whatever excuse it is. This is the loaded potato from Sendex. So at first view, the broth seems a little thin at first view. I'm seeing bacon bits, I'm hoping, and stuff. Some, some decent sized chunks of potato, and of course a cat that wants to have a bite. She, you're, no, it's people food. So, yeah, she gets real nosy whenever there's carry out involved. Anyway, this doesn't look half bad. So this is their loaded potato. Again, I still think Thunder Bay Grill makes the best one. Uh, Machine Shed, I believe, has the same recipe, to be honest. Um, so I just count them as the same. But this looks like it's got potential. Okay, feedback on this one. Definitely salty, definitely rich. Not bad. I actually would prefer if the potato chunks were just a teensy bit smaller, given how hot the soup is right now and that it's kind of hard to like engulf them down but so so um still the potatoes are you know they're the right amount of tenderness definitely it's got the right amount of stuff in it the broth though I, the broth is a little too tangy i have yeah the, the, the broth is better at thunder bay grill um it's more of a cream and less of a rich this one is definitely very rich definitely salty makes you thirsty right away still good I'd give it a four out of five. Okay, here we go. Next up on Sunday's soup tasting. Ooh, that could be a thing. <laughs> Actually, it's not a bad idea. Sundays are good for cooking. Um, again, they definitely, yeah, they definitely use a lot of grease in their cooking at Sundex, but that is how you get a lot of the flavor. Um, today's batch of chili is very, very brothy. But considering what I bought it for, you know, I need the liquids in my body. Um, not too bad. And also, too, when I was scooping out, I'd out, I purposely would, like, take the ladle and kind of load up, you know, the, the ingredients that way, too. Um, now, this is, I still would add more beans, honestly. This is, but what I like is that it's more than just the kidney beans. I think I'm seeing pinto, perhaps. Um, maybe a third type. Not sure. Um, definitely kidney beans and pinto beans for sure. Um, I do like that. I like to make chili, to be honest, with, I would add another can of beans if I was making this for myself at home. Um, I like the consistency of the ground beef. It's very similar to what you had in the beef vegetable soup, which was perfect. Um, I like that because then it's, well, it's just, it's really, really edible, you know, that way. Um, I'm seeing the, the kind of the traditional miracle, I'm guessing. Well, maybe, maybe not a traditional miracle, actually. I'm just seeing celery and onion for sure. Um, not sure if I'm seeing a carrot or a pepper. Uh, when I do chili, I do a miracle that's got, I prefer red pepper to green pepper because green does tend to be kind of bitter and red is more sweet. Sometimes I'll do red, orange, and yellow and, you know, and kind of throw the peppers in that way and also definitely do the celery and the onion, you know, as a traditional miracle. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know, but uh, this doesn't look half bad. Okay, first taste. It is definitely watered down, so they definitely were trying to make their batch of chili go as far as it could. Um, so yeah, it's more watered down than it should be. It definitely should use just broth and stuff to to really you know bring out the the right flavors. So I am actually going to tweak this and add a little seasoning to it and everything before I finish it off. But as far as the contents of the chili, very good. Broth though, too bland. Okay, this is blurry. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I've saved my favorite, hopefully, for last. Creamy mushroom. All right, so here we are on this soupy Sunday. <laughs> That's gonna be a thing, I know it. Anyway, so this one, this one looks promising. The broth seems to be just right. Not too thick, not too thin. Um, definitely on first impression, I'm thinking I'd, I'd like even more mushrooms because I like, I like my stuff loaded, you know, but we shall see how this one turns out. Mm, pardon the lip smacking. Wow. Okay. Definitely. It's got the consistency of like a really rich gravy. This would taste so good on potatoes right now or chicken Kiev or something like that. Flavor. Yeah. Super salty. This is definitely going to make me thirsty all night long. Um, but 
super creamy, super salty. I still, I still would add a whole bunch more like the portobello mushrooms, like the small ones. I still would add a bunch more mushrooms um, just to really, you know, pack it in. But this one, this one's decadent. I would, I have 4.5 out of 5. It's close to a 5. It just, it needs, it needs a little bit more, a little bit more um, content. But the broth is, ooh, lip smacky. All right, well, I'm going to just devour this one now. So, laters.